Good morning, everybody. Happy Monday. We have a new week this week. This week we are going to be talking about spring gardens. The season right now is spring. It's been raining a lot. I've noticed a lot of trees and plants are starting to bloom with flowers. Spring is a time where a lot of plants are growing. A lot of times people like to start their own home garden during the spring. So this that's what we're going to be talking about this week, spring gardens. We have a new letter as well. Our letter this week is letter J. Some of the J words that I came up with were jump, juice, jar, jog, jam, jelly, jeep, jelly beans, joke, jeans, jump rope, January, July, June, and job. So those are all my J words today. The book that we're going to be reading or looking at today is called Plant a Tiny Seed. And after you read the story, I want you to think about what would you like to plant in your garden? Maybe you want to plant vegetables. Maybe you want to plant flowers. Maybe you want to plant different types of trees or shrubbery. So whatever you would like to plant in your garden, that is what you're going to draw for art today. So you can draw what you would like your spring garden to look like. For math today, I want you to go outside and find some things in your backyard and try and make a pattern. So you can make like a stick and leaf pattern. You can try a three item pattern. You can also go out in your backyard and try to find reoccurring patterns in nature. There are so many patterns in nature. They're a little bit more complex, but if you look really closely, you'll see that in leaves and in trees, there are a lot of reoccurring patterns. Um, for science today, while you're outside, I want you to try and find a plant that is not a plant that your mommies and daddies want to keep, but maybe like a weed or something that you can pull out of the ground and you can kind of dissect it and see all the different parts, the leaves and the stems and the roots. And Or you might even, um, if you want to stop at the grocery store, you can buy a flower. That's normally what we do and dissect the flower and look at all the different parts of that plant. I also provided a video today. It's called, How Does a Seed Become a Plant? It's really interesting, and I hope you guys enjoy that video today. For, amusement, for music, um, we're going to be doing a musical spoon activity. So you, all you need is a metal spoon, and then you can find different items in your kitchen, like a cheese grater or other metal items and plastic items. And what you, all you're gonna do is tap and scrape your spoon on different items in your kitchen and see how the sound changes. Does it sound the same when you scrape it on a cheese grater uh, or this as the same as if you tap it on your counter? So just comparing the sounds and trying to make different sounds with your metal spoon. That is everything I have planned today. I'm really excited to talk to you guys about spring gardens. I've been spending a lot of time outside mowing my lawn and. Um, in my flower beds, I bet you guys are doing that too. So I think this is a really great opportunity to talk about this theme. But I hope you all have a great day, and I will talk to you tomorrow. Bye.